Hi, my name is Dr. Nithin Gupta from the Division of Gastroenterology at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis and the co-author for the article titled The Impact of Obesity on Bowel Preparation for Colonoscopy. Our interest in this subject stemmed from our observation that obese patients tended to have a higher rate of inadequate bowel preparation. Since obesity is known to be associated with a higher risk for colon polyps and cancer, negative impact of poor preparation on screening colonoscopy could be serious. However, extensive literature searches did not uncover data addressing bowel preparations in the overweight population. So, we set out to find out if body mass index correlated with adequacy of bowel preparation. The immediate problem we ran into was that the description of bowel preparation was extremely subjective. To overcome this, we created a composite outcome score. In addition to the quality of bowel preparation, the composite outcome score took into account the confidence of the endoscopist in the ability to identify colonic pathology and whether the endoscopist recommended a shorter follow-up time interval than conventional recommendations based on the quality of bowel preparation. The composite outcome score allowed us to add objectivity to otherwise very subjective recordings of the quality of bowel cleansing. When we started to analyze our data, it was immediately apparent that abnormal BMI was associated with a higher proportion of inadequate bowel preparation. Each unit increase in BMI increased the likelihood of an inadequate composite outcome score by a full 2.1% to a maximum of 31.5% in patients with a BMI greater than 40 compared to normal BMI. In multivariate analysis, abnormal BMI remained an independent predictor of an inadequate bowel preparation. Next, we wanted to determine if there was an additive or synergistic effect if additional risk factors were coexistent with an abnormal BMI. We found that inclusion of an additional risk factors exponentially increased the likelihood of an inadequate bowel preparation which ultimately plateaued at 97.5% after addition of seven risk factors to abnormal BMI. Our study is the first of its kind in identifying abnormal BMI as an independent risk factor for an inadequate bowel preparation. My colleagues and I feel that the impact of these results on planning bowel preparations are profound. Identification of patient profile with a high risk for poor bowel preparation will be helpful in finding those who would benefit from a preemptive, individualized, aggressive bowel preparation regimen. Our results also provide objective data to inform patients about the chances of inadequate bowel preparation while planning the procedure, which will hopefully encourage patients to follow bowel preparation instructions more stringently. Patients at risk for in inadequate bowel preparation may need a longer period of liquid diet prior to colonoscopy and may need daily laxative regimens building up to the bowel preparation for several days and may benefit from patient education measures. Split dose bowel preparations with half the bowel cleansing agent administered the morning of the procedure is another alternative. To conclude, my colleagues and I feel that by improving the overall quality of bowel preparation, screening colonoscopy can be made more efficient and we may be able to decrease the total cost of health care. Thank you for your time.